Welcome to the Louis file. Uh, this time I would like to share something with you that uh, is found in the Gospel of John chapter 1. Uh, John the Baptist, who uh, most of you might know, was Jesus, actually Jesus' cousin. He was about six months older than Jesus. And Jesus uh, was obviously going to come along and, and be the Messiah. So uh, John was out in the wilderness baptizing people and the religious leaders came to him and started quizzing him, saying, Who are you? Are you Elijah? Are you the prophet? Um, are you the Christ? And he said, I assure you, I'm not the Christ. <laughs> he said, I'm not him, but I am here basically to pave the way and uh, the one coming after me. I'm not even worthy to untie his sandal. You know, he said, I baptize in water, but the one coming after me is going to baptize in the Spirit and with fire. Of course, he's talking about Jesus. So they said, well, why are you baptizing? And it's quite interesting. He says, if you're not Elijah, you're not the Christ, you're not the prophet, why are you doing this? So John answered him. He says, I baptize in water. Uh, so let's see. He says, the next day he saw Jesus coming to him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he on behalf of whom I said, After me comes a man who is higher rank than I, for he existed before me. I did not recognize him, but so that he might be manifested to Israel. I came baptizing in water. John testified, saying, I have seen the Spirit descending as a dove out of heaven, and he remained upon him. I did not recognize him, but he who sent me to baptize in water said to me, he upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining upon him, this is the one who baptizes in the Holy Spirit. I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. So John tells them the reason he's baptizing in water is so that the Son of God could be manifest. I thought that was so great. So God tells John to go and baptize. And he tells them the one on whom the Spirit descends and remains is the one. So I could just see John, he's dunking people in the water and he's raising them back up and he's looking and, and the dove's not there, the spirit's not there. So he dunks another one, he dunks another one. Finally, his cousin shows up, Jesus, and he says, I did not recognize him. Now, of course, he had to recognize him. I'm sure he recognized him as his, as his cousin, but he didn't see him as the one until the, the spirit descended on him and remained on him. So what I, what I took away from this was that John was just being obedient. You know, he was just doing what he was told to do. God had shown him his role and what he was to do was to baptize people in water. So through the obedience of his faith, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the one, was revealed, was manifested to Israel. So... I guess the practical application here is, is sometimes we might be led, God might be calling us or showing us a, a way to go in our life, a direction or something that we are to do, and we might not understand it. Uh, we might partially understand it. Who knows? But the ultimate goal of our obedience is that Christ is revealed. So whatever it is that God has called you to do, you just, by faith, move into it and you start doing it. And that in your obedience of faith, Christ will be manifested and it will become obvious, more obvious to you what, what's going on. And not only that, it will be, Christ will be manifest to others in the process. Because that's what God's all about. God's all about pointing to Jesus Christ because he's our answer, right? So that's all I got for you today. I, I thought it was uh, kind of interesting and uh, whatever God has you doing, just do it out of faith and Christ will be manifest. Until next time, thanks for watching.